Hello everyone. So let's discuss the third problem of today's weekly contest, number of ways to select buildings. So we are given a string and we have to select three characters from this string such that no two characters are like no two consecutive characters are equal. So for example, if the string is this and we select the first, third and fifth character from the string, then we will get this 011 one, one, which is not a valid string because it has two consecutive ones in it. So the goal is to uh, count the number of valid ways to select any three characters from the string such that no two like and the valid way is the string which have no two consecutive characters equal. So for example if we have uh, this string then if we select the first character as this, second character as this and third character as this, this is a valid string because 0, 1, 0, no two of them are equal. Similarly, this, this and this is also a valid string because no two of, no, no two consecutive of them are equal. So how to solve this? So first, we have to select three characters, right? So what are the possible ways to select these three characters? So we are, let's say we fill the first character with zero. Then we have no choice than filling the second character with one because if we fill zero here, then it is an invalid string because we have two consecutive zeros. So, and if we have one previously, then only choice we remain is to fill this with zero. Now let's start with one. So if we start with one, we have no choice than to fill this with zero. So, and similarly, we have no choice than to fill this with one. So there are only two possible scenarios. Either the resulting string will be zero one zero or the resulting string will be one zero one. Now let's try to calculate uh, how many one zero one zero we can form. So now to form 0, 1, 0, the middle character is 1, right? So let's fix this middle character. Let's say this is our middle character of our 0, 1, 0 string. Now, if this is the middle character, then we have like we, we have to choose the first and the third character. Now, how many ways are there? How many different ways we can fill this first character? So we have to fill this with zero. So number of possible ways will be just simply a uh, number of zeros. So number of zeros are two. So there are two ways to fill this. Similarly, uh, we have to fill the third one as zero, third one with zero. And there is only one zero. So number of ways to fill this is one. So in total, there is uh, two into one equals to two ways in which we can make zero one zero with this character as the middle character. Similarly, let's say we want to make the string uh, 101. So here the middle character is 0. So let's assume that this is the middle character. Now if this is the middle character, we have to fill the first and third character. And first character, we know that we have to fill this with 1. So how many possible ways are there? Two possible ways because there is only two ones. Right? So there are two possible ways to fill this and there's only one possible ways to fill this because there is only one one. So total two ways are there in which if we pick this uh, character as the middle character, then we can form one zero one. So hope the idea is clear. So the solution is uh, pretty simple and the solution is basically for each character i we will see if uh, s of i is equal to 0, then just uh, add count of zeros into count of zeros of before i and count of zeros after i. Just multiply them and add to, the, add to the answer. Similarly, if s of i is 1, then just uh, multiply the count of zeros and add that to the answer. So let's look at the code. So the code is again very simple. Uh, so to count them like, okay, one more thing, like how to count the number of zeros or how to count the number of ones. So 
one way, like let's say this, you pick this one as the middle string and you want to count the number of zeros before it. So one way is to just go over the entire string and count the number of zeros, but that way it will be uh, inefficient. So rather we will do prefix sum, like we will say that, okay, there is one zeros up to this, two zeros up to here, again two zeros up to here, again two zeros up to here, three zeros up to here, and three zeros up to here. So this is the prefix array that we will build. Now we can just answer like if you want to know how many zeros are there up till here, it is just uh, two. How many zeros are there up till here, it is just three. So this is very popular idea wherein we are just calculating the prefix sum. So if you don't know the approach, I will link a video for this approach. So what we are doing is we are just calculating prefix and suffix sum of zeros. So prefix of zero is basically prefix of j minus one plus whether this character is zero or not. If it is zero, add one, otherwise add zero. Similarly, suffix of zero, suffix of j is suffix of j plus one plus adding one if it is zero, otherwise add zero. Now, as discussed, if we will iterate over all the characters, uh, notice that we are skipping the first and the last character because that those two characters can't be the middle character for sure. So now if that character is one, we are just calculating the number of zeros before and after and multiplying it and adding to the answer. If it is zero, then we will just uh, find the number of ones before and after. So number of ones will be just uh, total number of characters minus number of zeros. So for example, uh, if we know that there is, there are three characters up to this, like there are three there are three characters up to this position and there are two zeros among these three characters. So how many number of ones are there? One, because there are total three characters among these three, two are zeros. So total number of ones will be one. So that's the logic, like basically just uh, subtracting number of zeros and subtracting number of one, number of zeros from the suffix as well and then just multiplying it. So hope the approach is clear. If you found find this helpful, please like. Thank you.